What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So I'm back in London finally after two amazing holidays in the month of January. First I went to Morocco with a bunch of friends from KCL Medical School. Hey. And now I just got back from Paris last night. Welcome to Paris day number two. two. <laughs> so it's been a really crazy January. Today is going to be a day of getting my life back together, sitting down, writing down everything that I need to do, think about what it is that I've missed and how I'm going to catch up on everything, just basically organize my life. So the first thing on my list today is I have an appointment in order to get my national insurance number. These appointments are really hard to get and so I can't miss it, otherwise it's a mission to reschedule. So I'm going to go do that and then tackle everything that I need to do for medical school. was just how efficient their metro is. You can actually open the door on the train while it's still moving, so there's no time wasted for people going in and out. On top of that, there was such easy transport between different locations, which isn't really the case here in London. I feel like a lot of times you have to move in sort of a triangle shape in order to get to your destination, when a straight line would be so much easier. Anyways, I finally made it to the job office, National Insurance Number building. I'm gonna go in, have my appointment, and catch you in a sec. All right, that wasn't so bad. All done with the meeting now and heading home. Passed by the store and got Alexia some flowers. She's feeling kind of stressed, so I wanted to get her a little pick-me-up. Anyways, it's drizzling slightly and I don't want to damage this camera and regret it later, so I'll catch up with you guys at home. Elevator's not working. All right. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. I'm gonna sit down and continue organizing my life a little bit. Recently, I've been trying to use this planner over here. Alexia got it for me for Christmas. Whenever I use an online or digital planner, I never check it often enough to actually do everything that I write down, and then that way things slip out of my mind and I forget things. So I'm trying to use a physical planner because that's what I used throughout all of high school and in my first degree at university, and it worked very well for me. The most pressing thing that I have to do is tomorrow we have an interprofessional education pain symposium, which is basically where medical students, nurses, physicians associates, and other other students in the healthcare industry work on a project together. We have to watch a case online and figure out what pain management and pain treatment we want to give them. I'm not gonna lie, there's a bunch of other stuff to do as well, but I'm just gonna start with that so I don't get overwhelmed. Every week at the beginning of the week, we get an email that sort of updates us on everything that's going on in medical school, upcoming deadlines and things like that. And so there's a bunch of things that have just been added to my plate. The first of which is an end of placement survey. And on top of that, the stage three allocations are going live on the 10th of February. Next year, when I go into my fourth year, I'm gonna move into stage three. And in stage three, you get placed in hospitals all over the country here in the UK. And personally, I don't wanna be really far away from London because that's where all of my friends and my family are. And I'd really rather just stay where I am, close to everywhere that I'm familiar with. So that's something I definitely need to think about over the coming weeks, decide where it is that I want as my first choice, my second choice, etc. Oh god. All right, we've also got a medical ethics and law workshop coming up. Definitely need to write a couple of things down in my journal. All right, I'm going to quickly fill out that survey and then go back to preparing for the pain symposium tomorrow. All right, all done with the survey. Looks like for the pain symposium tomorrow, there's a couple of lectures I need to watch and a case study that I need to go through. So I'm gonna grab my iPad. All right, and without further ado, let's just get to work. guys as stressed as i am about the remaining work for the day i'm really hungry and i think i should probably eat before just pushing through all of this work it's not going to help me in any way alexi and i are going to keep it very simple we're just going to make some fish fingers with rice not what we would usually make but we just need a quick meal because we're both really busy today and then we need to get back to work
All right, y'all, finished lunch. Gonna make a quick coffee because alertness levels are. And then back to work. Guys, it is time. It is time for another study sesh. The last thing I want to do right now is sit down and have a four hour study sesh, but there's too much to do. It has to be done. Wait a minute, something's missing. All right, so like I said before, I'm still working on that pain symposium thing that we're gonna have tomorrow. I've got another lecture and then the case study to go through. So hopefully after that, we can move on to other things. So enjoy this super fast forwarded version of me going through a bunch of work. All right guys, I'm all done now. That took way longer than expected. So much time. Anyways, I'm all ready for this pain symposium thing. I'm gonna cross it off of my list in my journal, which I'm now using in 2020. And then yeah, I still have a lot of like small admin things to sort out. I need to go through all of the emails that I've accumulated over the last week. I need to figure out where I am for my next clinical placement and psychiatric placement. Also, this semester I've opted to take part in an extracurricular activity, which is called Psyched Up. And basically it's led by students, teachers, and patients. And it's all about getting medical students like us to to practice our history taking skills, our OSCE clinical skills. So yeah, I'm gonna have that once a week for I think the next eight weeks it was. So that's a good chance for me to make sure I'm on top of everything and you know, just getting things done. All right, so let me quickly find out where that is tomorrow and if there's anything that I need to do to prepare. Oh, first session takes place on Tuesday the 4th of February. Okay, great, that's in a week from now. The only slightly annoying thing is that it's held at Denmark Hill campus, which is decently far from here. It's like just over an hour of travel. So it's gonna be quite a bit out of my way and take up a decent amount of my time, but I think it will be worth it to get in that increased practice because OSCEs are something that you can't really learn from just reading a book. You have to actually practice and do it yourself. Also gonna leave a quick review for the Airbnb that we were staying at last week. In case you're wondering, it was excellent. Now, last but not least, the never ending bane of my existence going through emails. I think I get something like 10 to 15 emails a day between medical school and university related things and then the Karma Medic channel. But honestly, it takes so much time to go through them every single day and make sure that you're caught up. And I hate leaving emails for the next day because it just piles up infinitely. So I think I'm gonna get a head start on that go through as many emails as I can. I won't be able to finish everything because there's just too many, but might as well make a dent in it. All right guys, I actually managed to get through quite a few emails, so really happy about that. I'm now gonna make a list of all of the lectures that I've missed over the last week. I'm just gonna make a list of those in my trusty notebook so that I know what it is that I have to do in the coming days. All right guys, you know what? I've actually managed to do quite a lot today. It was pretty productive. You know that feeling when you come back from holiday or you haven't been in school for a while and everything seems so unorganized. It seems like you have a hundred things to do and you don't know where to start. That's how I felt at the beginning of today. I just wrote everything down, went through it one by one, and here I am done feeling a lot, a lot better. I hope you guys have enjoyed this productivity vlog of me getting my life together after a little bit of holiday. If you did enjoy, please leave me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel to see more content from me in the future. New medical school videos on this channel every single Thursday and I will see you in the next one. Peace.